Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic. So these are most of my printable stickers that are on full sheets of sticker paper. So I had been storing them in this accordion folder. I still have a few things in here, but not really printable stickers. Um, and I'll have to go through those. It's like some Dollar Tree stickers and things like that in there, some large sticker sheets. But these are all of my printables, whether I created them myself or I purchased them from other shops. These are the full pages. Previously, I've had these in three ring binders and or in a three ring binder and I did not like it, which is why I took them out and put them in the accordion folder because it seemed like too much trouble to have this giant binder on my desk. And with the accordion, accordion folder, I could just have it right next to me and pull out what I needed. However, my collection has grown and over and outgrown that folder. So this is what I did yesterday. I divided them up, I punched them, I had these discs in a container and I just sat here and used my Staples Heavy Duty Arc Punch. This is what it looks like. So I used this punch and I sat here and punched all of them. So let's talk about what I did. So like I said, the discs are ones that I just happen to have. If you want to do something like this, let me put this on. This is why I need a cover. Um, if you want to do something like this, they do sell, I don't know if they still sell the discs at Walmart, but they may have them during back to school. Um, but they do sell the discs at Staples and at Office Depot. And they also have metal. I just, I don't have enough metals left over. And I think these are the Walmart versions. I don't know which ones are which, but I have some Walmart and something else. Okay, so what I did was I put a few sheets of the sticker paper backing. So this was like a finished sheet where I had used all the stickers and just the, the white space was left. So I peeled that off and I have a backing so that I can kind of have my own sticker book here. So like this, this is just a sticker on this backing paper. Same here. I have several sheets of that in the front of this one. So these are just stickers that I salvaged. They are misprint, but I feel like I can still use those. And then these are some that I pulled off a sheet that only had a few stickers on it. Same with this. So then we get in, and I taped the back because these were the type of sticker paper that where the uh, sticker paper was split down the middle. So eventually if I get more that were not like that, like this, then I may switch them out. But for now, it's fine. So this is probably the book that I will use the most because it has my numbers, days of the month. And so I kind of divided everything up like that. Even the, the sheets that didn't print properly that have holes in them, you see? <laughs> I put everything in here and organized them. and. Like with all disc systems, the nice thing is I can take it out without having open rings or anything like that and easily put it back in. So I like that. Um, and so yeah. So then we get into the date covers. And I'm going to add dividers and everything to this. But again, more combo sheets of date numbers and date covers date covers then I kind of put the iffy pages in the back that I may or may not use and actually this one can go with the other one like it see how easy that is you can just pull it out and move it the only thing I don't like is that because these are those plastic discs Turning the pages is a little bit of an issue plus because this is the full letter size. So this, this size is equivalent to the big size from the Happy Planner. It's eight and a half by 11. So yeah, it, it makes turning the pages a little problem, bit of a problem, 
but eventually I'll get metal discs and switch them out. And I think it'll also help once I have the sturdiness of the dividers and the cover. Uh, that may help too. But here's some more. Then I get into more of like the word stickers. And then these months. Here are my headers. These are available in the shop. These are the budget finance headers for keeping track of expenses. And then there's also one for keeping track of online orders. So there's that. Then I got into icons. Little deco. And then here in the very back, I have all my boxes. So I can divide this up however I choose and reorganize if I need to reorganize this disk bound system gives me the ability to do that without having to start all over if that makes sense. So this one is pretty thick and heavy it has quite a bit in it um, but again this is probably going to be the one I use the most. This one, I started out with the florals, and before I had these separated somewhat like this in the accordion folder, but I did have all of my seasonal pages items together. Now I have them mixed throughout. There's really no point in just keeping them all together like that. But So these are florals, and I kind of tried to keep the color groups together, kind of. Then we get into more of the greenery. I put these on here. They aren't specifically greenery, but the flowers are so such a light color. I felt like the greenery, the greenery was what was important on those pages. So even the pages with little bits left, see I could take these off and put them on a sticker backing page or make this a sticker backing page by just peeling this off. Um, same thing with this one. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you. Let's take this one out. This is basically, well, this isn't a good candidate because this cut all the way through. So let's not do that one. This one isn't either. So maybe that's why I didn't do it. So I'm not gonna show, be able to show you on that one. It's not a good candidate <laughs> for a sticker paper. And then you can also use these backings. Take these backings once you use the whole sheet, peel off the, what's left over and make a whole other notebook just for those. So again, more greenery. Some I made, some um, from the seasonal pages. And then we get into, this is just like a random sheet. These are bows. So I'll have a section for bows. This is another like deco page. I don't know that this should go in here. I kind of don't know where to put this at. Let's take this one out um, and see if I can find a better location because it doesn't really go. And then we got more floral, greenery, florals, and I just kind of put all of these pink flowers together along with the cameras with the pink flowers because all of those came from the same sticker sheet. So I guess I do have deco in here. This is kind of deco stuff. Um, yeah, so I think this should go back here instead of being mixed in with the flowers. But see how easy that is? I can easily reorganize the stickers however I want. And then these are leftover deco, deco. Then we get into, this is deco, the kits. So I also have my kits in here. This is uh, one that I purchased not long ago and I just printed it and I'm waiting to use my capital sheet planner while well, waiting for July so that I can start using it. Um, but yeah, I love this kit. And I'll try to remember to put the information in the description box below on where I got it. But I could even pull bits out of this, like the, the icons, the weather, and just use them regularly. Look at the trash cans, yeah. I really like that. And then we get into some of my Victoria Thatcher printables. These are kits. Let's see. This page, let's see. 
This is a good candidate for a sticker backing sheet. So these were just little pieces of the washi strips that were left. And I just didn't want to throw those away since I still have stickers for this kit. So let's peel this apart if I can get my fingers to work. So I'm just taking this backing off. Now this did cut through a little bit, but I'm gonna let it slide. And voila, we have a sticker page um, that we can use for stickers. Now these do work better in between pages. So I'm gonna put this one back here and then I'll probably put it in behind a divider once I make the dividers. But I just wanted to show you and all you gotta do is peel that excess sticker, sticky part off and you have a page that you can use just to put random stickers on. So again, leftover kits and leftover kits. So, and then I think this is all kits. Yeah, so this is all kits back here. I'm not gonna flip through all of them, but these are some of the ones that I have available on my website. Um, yeah, so that is that for this book. So I have kits, florals, greenery, and a little bit of deco in there. Okay, so see what I mean about the, once I get the covers on, I think that'll be better. And this is a stick, a backing sheet. It keeps coming off because it needs something a little heavier. And I may go down the edges of the backing sheets on the back with some washi tape and I think that will help them stay on the disc better. As far as the big sheets, this is the last one that I made. This one has the dolls. All sorts of dolls. <laughs> dolls and characters, badly printed pages work fine in here. Okay. So this doesn't go here. Just take that out. I'm gonna show you where it goes. So that's all the dolls, 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 dolls. <laughs> and actually, if you have pages like this where your machine was acting up and it cut all the way through, having it in a book like this helps hold those pieces in place. So that's not, that's pretty good. This is where this goes. So this section here starts my holiday or special occasion or themed um, stickers. So like I have these for Mardi Gras. And of course they can be used other times, but this is my Mardi Gras section. And I kind of have them in order as the events occur through the year. That kind of helps too. So you can even like just flip this around and have whatever section you want on the front. And now that I did that and I don't have a cover on it, I gotta find <laughs> where the front is. Here it is, okay. So yeah, you can flip them over like that. Takes up less space. And that's another thing about with using a binder. If you use a three ring binder, it's a little difficult to do that. So you'd have to have it completely open on the desk. And for me, it just was taking up too much space. So being able to flip it back on itself like that is also great. So this is my um, Black Lives Matter page that I probably will also be using for Juneteenth somehow. Martin Luther King Jr. More Black Lives Matter. So then we get into more of Memorial Day, 4th of July. And I know these are florals, but they are themed for a specific season or holiday. So they go here. So then we have some of my uh, kits for, again, it can be used for Memorial Day, 4th of July type thing. Then here we go for Halloween and then the fall. So I've got like fall themed stickers, printables, and then this is winter. 
and Christmas. And then that's it. So any holiday themed stickers that I have will go back here in this section and I will try to have them in order of the holiday. Here's Kwanzaa after Christmas. So that's it for that book. So I'm not gonna bore you <laughs> with all of the stickers. Just This is just one of the sticker organizations that I have done. Now the thing is to make covers. And I've gone back and forth on what I wanna do for the covers. I do need a full eight and a half by 11 sheet. I have tons of paper pads that I could use, but the problem is the majority of the paper pads are single-sided papers. Also, I want these to be uniform. So if I make my own covers, they can be more uniform. But I also don't want them to just be dull. I kind of decided that I would try making a mixed media style cover. That way, if I make just one mixed media page, my own page, then I can scan it, add the text to it that I want, make it look more like a professional cover or book. And I don't know why this came off, but it did. And that way, I can just print it on my printer and use it to cover each book. So that is what I'm going to do. That will be in another video. I just wanted to share to share what I did to organize my full sheet stickers. This was the biggest problem that I had as far as sticker organization. So, but I will work on the covers in a different video. And then we'll also come back and talk about the smaller sticker storage and work on organizing that as well. But for me, this is pretty much organized. I can just like prop them up on my desk once the covers are on and ready to go. Makes them a little bit more sturdy. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video. Be sure to check the community tab and my stories for updates throughout the week. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash scribecraftastic for exclusive content and digital downloads. Visit my other channel, Journal Life's Journey, for craft videos and junk journals. You can find me across social media at scrapcraftastic. Visit my website and shop at scrapcraftastic.com. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!